Hello everyone, my name is Luke, aka Mr. Rage, and welcome back to another one of my videos. Um, glad to see all you guys here, hopefully. Hopefully you guys are here for all of my frequent viewers and subscribers. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in to another video. It really means a lot to me to have you guys entertained on the channel, as that is my goal. So, yeah, I love doing these videos for you guys, and I'm so glad to have you guys as a part of my wonderful community. Um... But yeah, now that that's out of the way, uh, I have some informative news for you guys. So, I'm sure some of you remember my Dying Light 2 microtransactions rant video. I made that last year. Um, and I, I, I gotta say, like, look, I understand that it's still kind of annoying that the game now has a store and an in-game currency system that can be used to purchase the in-game bundle packs I get it. It's annoying still, but I gotta say, guys, the microtransactions in Dying Light 2 are actually not so bad. So I'm about to show you guys this real quick. Oh, I can see myself in the reflection over there. Okay. A lot of pressing A's. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so of course we have the in-game store right here. So let's go to the store. So these are all the bundle packs that we have here for Dying Light 2. Now, as you guys can see, everything here, similar to the first game, is all just bundle packs. These things come uh, with weapons, uh, skins... Uh, for example, the Savage uh, Samurai Bundle, here's everything that comes in this bundle. Uh, the Mercenary Bundle, you get uh, gear items, the Mercenary Outfit, Grenade Charm, par uh, Mercenary Paraglider, j j just little cosmetic stuff like that. As you guys can see here, there's nothing that comes in these bundle packs that you will need to actually enjoy the game. Like, all of the stuff that comes in here is just little weapons and cosmetics and you know these uh like other little stuff like for example like see even the mercenary paraglider like you like you actually will get the paraglider in this game by just playing the game you don't gotta buy this bundle just to actually get the paraglider so all of this is just dlc for cosmetics and weapons none of this dlc is story expansions or anything super important like that like this is all just like little cosmetics weapons uh you know blueprints crafting stuff like that like none of this stuff here is actually needed to actually enjoy the game meaning that dying light 2 is actually not paid to win if these bundle packs included things that were not in the main game that were required to actually enjoy the game then the game would be paid to win but it's not like you don't gotta buy none of this stuff to actually enjoy the game. You can play the game without buying a single one of these bundles and you can still enjoy the game. There's still plenty of weapons in the game. Uh, there's still plenty of shit. So the game is not paid to win because none of this stuff is required to actually get more fun out the game. The only thing that this is, is just little cosmetics and weapons and not only that but if you look at the prices here the prices are also not that expensive as well and not only that but as you can see here techland is putting these bundles on sale quite often i believe they have a new sale every single time one ends so you're never going to be spending the full amount of dl points on one of these bundles if it is on sale um, so yeah, the, the, the prices here are pretty fair as well. You know, even, um, even if the sale was not going on right now, I can tell you that this is really not a whole lot, really expensive. Like it's really not that expensive. The cheapest one is over here, 100 Dying Light points. And not only that, but when you first log into Dying Light 2 for the first time, I believe you will get some free Dying Light points as well. So you can get at least one of these bundles for free pretty much. So yeah, um, none of this stuff is really that expensive, you know? 
Uh, I think the most expensive bundle is, let's see, this one's 400, a bit expensive. This one's also 400, again, a bit expensive. All of these appear to be 400. So these are a, a little bit expensive, but you know, not extremely. Uh, let's see, the most expensive bundle pack that I'm seeing is all the way up here. The Savage Samurai, which costs 800 Dying Light Points and the game over bundle which costs 600 dying light points but those are the most expensive bundle packs i see uh, there's also uh oh that's only 300 uh let's see what else 450 for this one fire devil bundle nimble ninja bundle 400 payday two. payday two is only 300 that's not a lot so yeah, um, now that we see how expensive some of these are, now how much are the actual dying light points? Well, we have an option for that right here. Let's check it out. So as you guys can see here, I would say that the prices here are fair enough. Um, you can get uh, 1,100 dying light points plus a bonus, as you can see here, you get a... 1000 uh, 1000 bonus for dying life points as well as 100 so that's you pretty much get um another 1100 here right so right I'm, unless i'm doing that wrong my math is terrible but anyways uh yeah this is only nine dollars 9.99 so ten dollars for 1100 dying life points um then you have 500 for four dollars and then you have a hundred dying life points for only 99 cents so a dollar pretty much. So for a dollar, you get 100 dying life points, which is um, honestly, I don't think it's that bad. Like, you know, especially this one right here. I mean, 500 dying life points for only 4.99. So five bucks, I, I really don't see it as being that big of a deal. And then we have a more balanced price here, 1100 for nine dollars for ten dollars and then we have something a bit more like if you're more of a hardcore dying light player then you might want to go for this one um 2300 points for 19.99 so 20 bucks 20 bucks for 2300 points plus an additional 2000 points or 2000 dying light uh, dying light points plus 300 so yeah i mean i'd say this is pretty balanced pricing uh then we have like if you if you want to be even more hardcore 3600 for 30 dollars this right here should get you most of the bundles that you are seeking because like i said if you go back here the bundles are pretty affordable the most expensive one right here is 800 but obviously these do add up you'll be able to buy a good amount with 3600 points and if you want to go super, super hardcore, then we have the most expensive option, which is over here, 6,500 Dying Light 2 points, plus an additional 5,500 bonus for exactly $50. $51, that being said with tax. But yeah, honestly, like the fact that the most expensive option here will give you the most points as well as only being $50. I mean, $50 is a bit much. I mean, the game itself costs $60, but I'd say this is actually not too bad. I mean, especially with the bonus that you get here. I mean, this right here, this this amount of dying light points, this should get you everything that is currently in the store as well as anything that comes out in the future because 6,500 is quite a lot of points. So this should get you the most but even if you go for 2300 or 3600 this these two should also get you some pretty good stuff for the time being and as i already said none of these bundles is required to actually enjoy the game you can play this whole game without spending a single extra dollar or cent on anything that is offered in the in-game store so no dying light 2 is not pay to win however i will say this a lot of these weapons are pretty overpowered the weapons that you're gonna start off with in dying light 2 like the base game like the weapons are gonna be a bit shitty but you know dying light 2 is an rpg so as you up, as you up, level up more in the game you'll find more powerful weapons and crafting materials but so a, a lot of these weapons are severely overpowered like if you buy one of these bundles then you'll be kicking ass killing zombies and taking bandits names as soon as you start the game so i guess to some people that might make it pay to win but to me no i don't think so it's not pay to win at all 
Because although these weapons that you get in, in these bundles are severely overpowered, Dying Light 1 had the exact same thing. Like, if you bought one of the many DLCs that was in Dying Light 1 and, you know, one of their bundle packs, it was the same thing. So, honestly, I can't really complain much here because if I did, then I would be a hypocrite because I love Dying Light 1. So, if I call this game pay to win, then that essentially means I'm calling Dying Light 1 pay to win because Dying Light 1 has the exact same thing. Dying Light 1 also had bundle packs. It's just that it, they weren't purchased with uh, in-game currency. So, yeah, Dying Light 2 is not pay to win. None of these bundles are required to actually enjoy the game. It's all good. Like, and you could buy one of these things when it's on sale. Like, if you're really that low on money, then just get them when they're on sale because, like, look at these sales here. 67% off, 67% off. Like, all this, like, all of this, like... 56% off like look, look at this like all these sales like Techland is always bringing sales as well for the dying light store so you know I, I think it's fine you know it's it's definitely not bad um first thing I would recommend is the walking dead bundle because you get to use Lucille in here and you get to dress as Rick Grimes so yeah <laughs> for my hardcore zombie fans out there start with this start with this bundle pack right here uh and for anyone who is nostalgic for the first dying light get the Raheem bundle as well as the Brecken skin. Where is it at? Where the hell is the Raheem skin? I, I mean, the, oh, there it is, Brecken, there you go. Oh, and we also have Rise. So yeah, for my nostalgic Dying Light fans, definitely get these as well. These only cost 100, 100 Dying Light points each. Uh, let's see how much the Raheem one cost. Raheem is also, okay, Raheem is 200, a bit more expensive, but still. All right, guys, well, that about does it. As you can see, Dying Light 2 is not pay to win at all. Um, I'm actually quite impressed with Techland. The fact they were able to implement an in-game store and in-game currency without being, like, super fucking greedy over it and pay to win, like, Activision and Rockstar and all that, like, this is actually pretty good. So, yeah, quite impressed with Techland. Hope you guys are as well. Let me know what do you think down in the comments below. Do you think this is still bad? Do you still think this is a bad business practice or do you think this is all right? And one thing I will say right now... I know that there are plenty of people who actually hate microtransactions way more than I do. Like, I'm a bit more accepting, but I know people who will not even look, let alone buy a game, if they will need to spend a single cent more money on anything after they've already purchased it. So for those people out there uh, who still want to enjoy a great zombie game, uh, let me just show you a fantastic zombie game on the Xbox Store. Keep in mind, this is also on PS5 and PC. This game right here, which is also on Game Pass, Dead Island 2 is one of the greatest modern zombie games I have ever played. And if we go to the store here, there is no microtransactions whatsoever. However, there are two story expansions, but you're probably going to want to buy those anyways. The only thing we have here is a couple of weapons. Just a couple and most of everything else is just skins like all of this is literally just skins for the characters like these are not different characters like this is just skins for the characters that are already in the game um i would recommend getting this katana though uh let's see how much this costs okay so three bucks so th three bucks again all very affordable so yeah um for those who don't want to buy dying light 2 because it has an in-game store Dead Island 2 might be more of what you're looking for. And as a matter of fact, Dead Island 2 is way better than Dying Light 2 in general. That's just my hot take. But I enjoyed this game, like, way more than I enjoyed Dying Light 2. Like, I just, I got a kick out of Dead Island 2. So, yeah, this game uh, on Game Pass. And if you have this on Game Pass and you want to buy it to own, then you can buy it for $34.99. So, yeah, that's with Game Pass, though. But yeah, I would definitely recommend this game. This game is on the Xbox. It is on PlayStation, PC. Uh, I believe it is also supported on Steam Deck. But for anyone who is on Nintendo Switch, yeah, buy a new console, okay? Because Switch is ass. Anyways, uh, <laughs> thank you guys so very much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments below about Dying Light 2 and its microtransactions. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, y'all. Peace.